Well, the latest we understand from local authorities is that the pilot may have been to blame for this crash. We know that it was very heavy fog, and I think from the picture that we have, the picture that you can see, uh, that fog was still there in the aftermath when you can see the wreckage of this plane spread across the forest uh, where it did crash. The local authorities saying that the fog was a problem and that it caused the pilot to have several attempts at landing, three or four, we understand, and uh, that air traffic control did actually offer the option of landing elsewhere in Minsk and uh, that offer was declined it seems and uh, the result of that was this crash. We understand the plane itself is a Polish Air Force craft. It was taking a delegation of officials, of course the President and his wife but also the Army uh, Chief of Staff, the Deputy Foreign Minister, a whole delegation on its way to this ceremony. Uh, to mark this uh, memorial, the Kachin massacre 70 years ago. Only three days ago, on Wednesday, President uh, Vladimir Putin and his counterpart Donald Tusk flew to the same area uh, for a separate memorial service for this massacre. It has been a bone of contention between Russia and Poland that Russia wasn't acknowledging this as a war crime. But these ceremonies, uh, both the one on Wednesday with Vladimir Putin and this ceremony that was due to take place today, were seen as an effort to build bridges between the two countries. But we know uh, from the authorities, uh, from the emergency services who are there, that there have been no survivors. There are conflicting reports as to the number of people that were on board the plane itself. It's a TU-154, a Soviet-designed aircraft actually developed in the 1960s. So it is pretty old and it is one of the more commonly used craft in this uh, part of the world. Uh, but that is despite a pretty poor safety record. Uh, but the latest we're hearing is that the pilot may have been to blame, coupled with that and the bad weather and his decision not to take this option to land elsewhere in Minsk.